one reason you might not get a good measurement is because the patient may have a faint pulse. So if they have a faint pulse, you'll want their wrist to be flat, okay? Um, but in order to kind of get that pulse, those faint pulses closer to the surface, all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold on, you almost hold their hand a little bit, put the, your thumb in their, in their hand here and use your left index finger to kind of control their arm and you're gonna bend their wrist back. And what that's gonna do is you'll instantly be able to feel that the pulse came a little bit closer to the surface and you're gonna get a stronger pulse, okay? This is a really helpful move if you're having trouble getting anyone's pulse, but especially someone who has a faint pulse because that's gonna bring it to the surface rather than it being embedded down like that. It brings it right up there. It's mostly women who have a very, like a protruding wrist bone right here. If you, if you really can't get the measurement, just gently turn it in a little bit Hold the wrist, and what that did is that let the, the artery just fall just a little bit, just enough away from that wrist bone, and now you'll be able to place this on the, on the wrist and, and get a measurement. The other thing is um, sometimes you'll, you'll put your, your finger on their pulse and it'll be a really bounding pulse, and you'll think it's going to be a really good measurement because their pulse is very easy to find. Um, those pulses are actually often the worst measurements because when you place the probe on the pulse, it'll actually push the probe off of, uh, the, the pulse is so strong that it'll push the probe off of the artery and then you can't get a measurement. So what you'll wanna do, instead of placing the probe up here close to the joint of um, the thumb, you'll wanna kind of move down the artery to maybe a little bit further down where it's kind of embedded a little bit further and it won't be quite as strong. I think um, in combination with um, with that movement and those those like little tricks, you'll be just fine. And practice. Practice on everybody you can so that you can get really good and fast at the test.